marvelous. Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, Silent Hope. This is a game that was uh, published by uh, Marvelous, and Marvelous is of course well known for its Story of Seasons games, but I'm a big supporter of a lot of their games. This one's a little bit different, like it's more like adventure RPG-like, but it's a good one from what I've heard. It actually came out, I think by the time you're all seeing this video, a couple days ago or so. It came out early October, uh, but yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and start. We're going to go to options here just to see uh, a couple things. Okay, I'm going to leave all of this. Yeah, it's on. HP gauge display for the player. Should I fix that? Everything else is on except this. Choose whether to display the player character's HP bar above their heads. I guess. If it's annoying, I'll, you know, take it off later. I'm going to set that to off. Usually don't like screen shake all that much. Save change. Wait, changes have not been saved. Save changes. Okay, I saved it. Uh, controls, I'm going to leave them like that. And there's sound, language, and other. Manage mental acquisition settings. I'm not going to mess with this stuff. It's all on. That's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and do a new game here. Let's begin Silent Hope. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom where everyone lived happy, peaceful lives. However, this kingdom lost its king. He committed a terrible crime by stealing all the world's words and abandoning his subjects. He then hurled himself into the seemingly bottomless depths of the abyss. After that, no one ever saw him again. His daughter, the princess, mourned her father with an endless flood of tears. She cried and cried for 100 years straight until her tears had encased her in a beautiful crystal teardrop. Many moons passed. Long after people's memories of the abyss had grown dim, seven rainbow-colored lights flew from its mouth. Sometime later, Seven travelers arrived one by one at the great crystal by the edge of the abyss. And there, they miraculously heard a voice, the princess's voice, as she began to call out to them. Blessed light. Behold the yawning mouth of the abyss. The king is somewhere deep within its depths. Brave the darkness below and find him. The abyss is brimming with malice. It seems to have refused you. And I shall offer you my blessing. With this, you may enter the abyss. However, only one person can use its power at a time. Now, who among you will be the first to brave the abyss? Okay, so all of that right there, I wasn't speaking because there was a lot of voice acting, and that is the whole intro of the game. So you have seven options here to choose. You have the Wanderer, 
And it gives you a little bio. A young Avenger, proficient with one-handed swords, no noteworthy skills, but his well-balanced stats make him a solid all-rounder. Archer, a forest hunter, proficient with bows, can control large parts of any battlefield with his long-ranged attacks and traps. Yeah, okay. This one is the farmer. That's hilarious, right? A young farmer. Okay. Proficient with the pitchfork, uses skills that confuse the enemy. Uh, wait, confuse the enemy and buff herself, and a usual fighter with many tricks up her sleeve. Okay. Cool. And then, oh, I didn't mean to press A there. Fighter. Oh, I like the design of this character a lot. A young lady from a well-to-do family, proficient with fists, a speedy, aggressive type who excels at focusing on a single enemy and pounding it to a pulp with relentless attacks. Caster. An academic, proficient with, uh, with staffs, okay, a poor melee fighter who instead casts various offensive spells from a safe distance. So we kind of get the idea here that basically right now, um, it's... You know, it's like the different classes of, you know, of many RPGs, all the different, you know, iconic things. Okay. Uh, so that's Caster. Then we have Rogue, a, a live and made, proficient with dual blades, specializes in skills that weaken enemies, moves swiftly to a, make a quick series of strikes. And the last one is Warrior, an apprentice blacksmith, proficient with great swords, attacks solely but has a wide reach and hits like a brick. Okay. So there's been a lot of like stuff online about, you know, what uh, like who essentially is the best or worst. A lot of people regard the order to be farmer, meaning like worst to best. So farmer, uh, then there's, okay, so this is the farmer, then there's fighter. Then after that, people would say it's caster. And then archer. Then wanderer. Warrior. And then rogue. Live and mate. So this one is the dual blades, basically. I don't know if I want to try using the rogue. It's, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I may actually want to give that a shot because the other one I was thinking of was the warrior. I mean, here's the thing: you'll eventually be able to use different, like it's not really a big deal, you know, because you can kind of use whatever you want to, dude. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna start with the rogue. Let's do that. We're gonna obviously be showing off these different, you know, classes. Into the Abyss as the Rogue. Yes, the iconic dual blaze mechanic. Okay, so you get to move. You can dodge with the R and you can see it has a cooldown time. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I was supposed to actually dodge. There we go. Experience leveling up. Defeat monsters to earn experience in order to level up and improve your skills. Okay. You can also heal with the L button, but it says I have two, so I definitely don't want to... You know, heal too early. So yeah, it's very important to, you know, be utilizing your, uh, dodge mechanic. This says, okay, you automatically pick up most items, but must manually collect certain ones. Okay, this is Stone Knight's Memory Rank 1. We're gonna take that. We can go this way. Yeah, this is the big loop around. Here we go, let's keep going over here. Okay. Oh wait, I don't think I... Did I walk past the entire dialogue in the beginning? I think I may have accidentally. Like, I thought I had triggered it all, but... I mean, I do want to show off the dialogue. It's possible I may have skipped over it. So this is the inside of the abyss. I'm afraid I cannot see much. Only what little the light illuminates. But in the shadows it cannot reach. I sense a malicious presence. Proceed with caution. There we go. Yeah, so if you stay under, under each of those light segments, you will, you know, hear a lot of different lines. And once the voice acting is finished, then the light will disappear. You don't really have to do that, but I, of course, want to show off everything that I can. Alright, so there's some stuff up there. 
Foraging. Attack fallen trees, weeds, and other objects in the abyss to find useful items. So that's fodder right there. Tomato seeds, okay. Like I said, I mean, it's made by Marvelous, so it does have some elements of like farming and stuff. Uh, but it's primarily an RPG. I mean, there's been a, there's a lot of games like that. I mean, obviously, the Root Factory games are well known for to being that. But in recent years, there's been other ones. I mean, Harvest Stella was actually a, a big one. The only reason I didn't play Harvest Stella is because Square Enix is so freaking. It's like they have something shoved up their freaking behind with regarding copyright stuff. Like, my god, they block freaking so much content. Like, I, I played Live Alive and other Final Fantasy videos, and there's so many of those that have that are freaking blocked in certain countries, and it's ridiculous. Like, it's so annoying. And that's why I kind of stopped supporting them, as much as I love Final Fantasy and other things that they do. I don't know, like, I've always thought about going back and trying, because I played Harvest Stella on my own. It's a pretty cool game, but I just don't want to get hit by more copyright crap from them, you know? Like, I, I always consider it like, oh, maybe, maybe now they, you know, let up on that game, because it's older now, you know? And it's possible at some point they're not going to worry too much about the copyright for maybe their older games, but... Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Getting a bunch of items here. So by the way, um, I didn't really mention this, but look at the, um... Uh... Oh shoot. Look at the purple bar at the bottom. Every time you kill an enemy, you will get experience, and that bar is going up a little bit. So that's your experience meter. There's a treasure right there. Did I miss anything over here? No. Okay. Attack a treasure chest to open it, then press ZR to collect any items. I got some recipes. Okay. Pineapple seeds. More pineapple seeds. And then there I got some, uh, rocks. Okay. I'm getting a lot, a lot of resources, which is pretty good here. Now, can you pull up the... Let's see if you can see the map. I'm not actually sure. Well, this is your, uh, the whole menu here. Use skill points gained upon leveling up to learn or upgrade skills. Set skills to Y, X, B to use them during battle. Okay. Use Y to revert all skills to defaults and reset your skill points. Uh, these are mementos, magistones, recipes, ingredients, materials, other. I'll save that for later. Base can. This is challenge because equip a character for adventure. Forgotten town. This is the uh, monster encyclopedia. Okay. Then we have options, and then back to status. Okay, well... I thought there was a... maybe there isn't a button for that. Oh, I see. Well, it's, you can put it up here. But I guess there's no... You can always find a way through a block road, search for a switch to open the path. But yeah, so you can press up. Whoops, I didn't mean to get hit right there. I mean, does anyone ever mean to get hit? Not really, right? Okay, there we go. And look at that, here's a switch. But yeah, you can definitely switch back and forth. Um, from the map options, you can do that or this. But I guess there's no actual way to like pause, because I, I tried, but... Yeah, no, I don't think there is. Alright, that's fine. Oh, look, this looks like a boss room.
What a monstrosity, huh? And we ended up running. Oh my. That was too close for comfort. What a powerful monster. Huh? That crystal is a fragment of my tears. We found one even faster than I'd hoped. This will come in handy. Use it to summon another hero to take your place. Or even return to the surface. Go on. Hold out your hand before it and see for yourself. That's it. Now, think about going home. Embrace that feeling. Alright, so it's told, it's told me to examine it. You can trade places with your companions here. But I'd like to show you something else right now. So, please choose return. Difficult to express myself properly at times. Conveying your true feelings can be hard. Welcome back. <laughs> Did I surprise you? I borrowed a bit of your strength and made some facilities to support your expeditions. I hope you like them. Remember the item you found? The one which held the memory of a weapon? Bring that memento to the forge. You can make weapons with it there. Now then, you'll need materials in order to make weapons. So let's visit the workshop. Okay, this menu here is all about your expedition results. You can see different things, time spent, experience earned, um, enemies defeated, and so on and so forth. All right, you can also press X to see all your items received, but I'm just gonna skip past that. All right, so you want us to go to the workshop, so let's go to the workshop here. Okay, so this is kind of like a tutorial-like thing. So this has to create. We're gonna do this. You need wood, stone, and various other materials. But logs alone won't help much. So you can use the workshop to make lumber. Try turning a log into lumber. So it says dried lumber. Um, okay, so required materials. Dried log. There. Now you've got the ball rolling. Unfortunately, it won't be ready for some time. Oh, but before I explain how, we should start a few things at the other facilities first. All right, let's visit the atelier next. You can use this facility to turn raw stone into material stone for crafting. Follow the same steps as before to start the process. Wow, 
You already have the hang of this. Wonderful. Now you've made all your requests. As I'm sure you've already noticed, they won't be ready for quite some time. Production on your request will continue while you explore the abyss. So let's keep exploring the abyss while we wait. It won't actually let us examine these ones over here, so like all these other facilities. So it's basically just the game's way of saying, yeah, you gotta keep playing the game. So it's still in the tutorial in the beginning, so that's why. It says, 1F Forgotten Town. Inside the abyss, it feels vaguely familiar, as if you've seen all this before. Recommended element, zero, item drop, rank one. Okay, so you can also choose your floor by pressing X, but I mean, we don't have a choice here, so. Let's go, we're gonna keep our rogue here. I think we're fine as is. All right, so time to explore. All right, I don't think I can break those. No, looks like you can, but no, I mean, they don't have anything for you. If you've asked someone at base camp to create items for you, they will work on your request while you explore the abyss, defeat monsters, and gather materials. All right, do gotta be careful here. Uh, now, you know, dungeons are going to get a little harder now. There's That first one was just a whole intro thing, so now i got to be a little bit more careful. Okay, we'll take that. Now, I recommend that you pretty much get everything in these dungeons. That way you have, you do less grinding later on if you just get everything. Level up. Use these to learn new skills. Okay. So you can press plus and then we go into skills here. So basically you get to choose. Okay, well you have these three here and you get to spend one of your, I don't know what they're called, but it's those green gem things. You can see in the top right you have one. Quick Spark, rush the enemy temporarily, increasing your evasion depending on the number of hits landed. Okay. Throw knives in the circle around you, your attacks temporarily deal more damage to any enemy's hit. Unleash a series of Quick Strikes in front of you. That's Flurry of Blows. Okay, I think we'll do... That's a cooldown of 12 seconds. Let's do, um... Let's do that. Skill acquired, okay. All right, and then you can, it says you can switch tabs with um, ZL and ZR, but wait, I have to actually, oh, I see. Well, this is your, sta I haven't talked about your status, but um, that's how you equip the things that you have, I believe, or maybe, no, I think you do it over here, but okay, so I'm gonna set this to what, to X maybe? Yeah, let's set it to X. There we go. So yeah, that'll be cool. And skills don't, from what I know, they don't cost like mana or anything. There's no, there's none of that. It's just a cooldown and I'm like, that's it. That's what it is. I mean, I took a hit, unfortunately, with that. That was a small floor, but again, it's all just tutorial. We're learning about the game and the way it all works, so now we're going to go back and pretty much uh, get our resources here. Welcome back. Your requests are complete. Go see for yourself.
You have all the materials you need. You can use them to make a nice weapon. All right, let's go visit the forge. You can revive the faint wisps of memory in a memento to make a weapon. You can also do this to make accessories like rings and earrings. Well, let's try reviving the first memento you found. Success! As you can see, once you have the necessary materials, you can finish your requests at facilities like the forge and kitchen in a flash. You can equip weapons you receive at the storehouse. Let's go there next. Okay, so the storehouse is right here. Change equipment. And so you can equip, like I was saying, uh, accessories and stuff like that too, but also a uh, weapon. So that one says 11 to 12. This one is stronger. It says 16 to 17 attack. So overall, it's, a, it's an upgrade. Equipped. And it looks downright dashing, if I do say so myself. If you keep making weapons, you'll only grow stronger from here on out. This is but one method among many to consider. If you want to finish something instantly, you can use an item called Sands of Time, or just spend lots of runes. You'll need runes to do lots of things, to be honest. So collect as many as you can. You can craft useful items at other places besides the forge, you know? You should try them all out later. Now then, use all these facilities to create better items until you're strong enough to explore the deepest depths of the abyss. I think this is the start of a wonderful partnership. Okay, so now we're able to pretty much examine all of these things. So, generally, it helps to be making stuff. Like, you know, process logs and other types of wood here to make lumber, which you can then use to craft equipment. It says unlocked at level 1. You can improve the facility's efficiency, um, but I'm not actually sure how we end up going about that. So yeah, um, basically, dry lumber, dry, I mean, I have dried logs, saying you essentially use, what is it, two? You use two um, dried logs to make one dried lumber, I believe. You can also do, what is it, three? Oh my god, all this is talking in the background. You can also make more if you want to. So, you can always finish instantly. I mean, I only have 10. Obviously, that's not going to work. Right, well, 10... Wait, no, no, no sorry. It costs... What? Okay, we'll do that. That's definitely going to take some time. Turn minerals into crafting materials here, which you can then use to craft equipment. So same with these. It says finish instantly, 210 or that. Okay. So wait, is it saying that it's costing me? Let's see here. Yeah, okay, that's what it, okay. So it's costing me 30, but if to do it instantly, it costs you like a ridiculous amount more. Use a storehouse to store items you've acquired in the Abyss and at the base camp. You can also use it to organize your inventory and change equipment. Desynthesize items you don't need with A. Decent weapons, rings, earrings, and memories will give you booster parts. All other items turn into runes. Okay. So you can totally do that. Um, it says one times booster part. I just love diving into the details. And everything else will give you runes. You can do that and it'll show you how many runes you get. It's like you're, what's it called? Like disassembling it or something like that. Change equipment, oh, that's fine. Okay, this is the kitchen. The kitchen, use animal products and veggies to cook dishes here. Unlike other requests, these will finish instantly. Nice. Uh, set dishes before embarking on an adventure to receive various buffs. Collect recipes to learn more dishes. Yeah, so fresh milk catered to a pleasant. So basically, yeah, you use it, and it gives you that buff for your next dungeon run. What will you make? 
I'm not going to worry about anything about this right now. Plant seeds to grow fruits and vegetables here. Use the crops you harvest to cook dishes. So I have all these here. Um, that's cool. I got, I got a big variety. I have... Consider what dishes you like to make first, then plant all your favorite ingredients. Yes, I know. Okay. How do I see the count that I have? Oh, it's like it's a number on the right. I see. Okay. It's like I have five of those. Boy, this costs how much? Sixty. Oh God. Give it your best. Seventy-five for those. Let's go ahead and do. Yeah, I'm doing big chunks at a time. It's cool that the game lets you do three at a time. We can have more slots, but we have to eventually, you know, we gotta upgrade. And the farm. Feed animals, fodder, and gather products like milk and eggs here. Use these goods to cook, to cook dishes. Okay, so I would need to give, I have what, 20 fodder? Caring for animals requires a lot of heavy labor. So please, make sure you don't hurt yourself. It says, oh, halt production? No, no. We're gonna the second one, so yeah, it costs three fodder for that. And then only one fodder for the chickens. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm doing sets of three at a time right now. But this is the best we can do right now. Okay, this one. Use mementos and materials to create new equipment at the forge. Request finish instantly. Equip gear to confer various benefits. Some equipment has a slot for magic stones, which can grant additional bonuses or change elemental affinity. Use booster parts to upgrade equipment, increasing its attack or defense. You can gain booster parts by descending gear and mementos in your storehouse. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do anything right now. I don't have anything. No. Why does this one still have an exclamation mark? I'm actually not totally sure why. Each piece of gear has its own unique effect to consider. Which can make That's weird. That's the only thing use. left that has. Oh, that's, that's like that's a training dummy. A okay, but that's pretty much your whole. This is like your hub of the game. That's pretty much how that works. But now that we've done that, I think it's time to just uh, progress. I tried talking to other people many, many times, but no one ever heard me. Okay, so it still says, let's like, choose floor. My voice reached all of you. I wonder how far the abyss actually goes. It must come to an end so See you! Okay, I wasn't able to select another floor. trying to recreate it. No, it couldn't be. Surely not. All right. Oh my god, it's the iconic Wooly from the Rune Factory games. That's so funny. Okay, now you gotta watch out for archers here. To annihilate. Trigger a bonus that lets you earn more experience by killing multiple monsters in a row. Yeah, and then you can see see that bar on the right side where the five is? If it goes all the way down, that means your chain bonus is done. So you if you kill enemies fast, essentially that's the way that you get um, more experience. But it's a little difficult at times to be able to kill enemies really fast, especially early on in the game when you were a little limited in stats. Okay, I'm gonna check out this side. Damn, I still let him hit me. It's okay, I wanted to kill it fast. I got some XP from that, but... 
Whatever, that's fine. These gates lead to the next floor. Once activated, you can warp to them again from the options menu. Yes, now we get to the actual part of the game. Those first two runs were more tutorial-like. But now we are proceeding with the actual game itself, the core game. Second floor, it says 2 of 10, I believe. On the bottom right, it shows you. Okay, that was a little risky because I took a lot of damage, but... Okay, what are you doing? What? I'm definitely have to heal here. Why did I just get Void Stone? There we go, eight defeated. Level up. Nice. All monsters have vulnerabilities, hit them with attacks they're weak against to do more damage. Another Void Stone. I'll learn more about that stuff later. I can switch there if I wanted to, but I don't think I need to do that. Let's proceed. Next floor. We are in floor three now. Three of ten. What the hell is this? Examine these to trigger trials that you can complete to earn special rewards. Beat ten monsters before reaching the next floor. That's the trial. That sounds easy enough. Oh, that just heals you? Oh, that's cool. I think that's what it did. Okay. Oh, damn it. I was hoping I'd get more than one enemy with that. So I did actually level up as well. Um, oh, shoot. All right, let me take a look. Um, because I have one more. Yes, what the heck are these? Dancing Blaze temporarily it says class locked. Trickster. Okay, ninja. Okay, so I got that one. Um, I think I'll do. Let's do this one. Skill acquired. Okay, now we're going to set this to Y. Stone ring memory, okay. I do want to show that off in a little bit. Okay, so that's the one you've seen already a lot, but the other one is that one. Another level up. That's a good one, and it cool the cooldown is much, much faster. Okay, so now that I level up again, I think I can learn this one. Okay, well, I can also level them up instead of, you know, unless I, I just have to kind of decide on what I really want to do, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn them all first. And I'll set that one to B. Yeah. 
there. So double kill, nice. Okay, I think I did everything here. Let me just double check. There's actually two ways to go. Wait, no, that's a dead end. Okay, never mind. Alright, next floor. This trial does collect 20 runes before reaching the next floor. Okay, that should be also pretty simple, I think. I already got 7. What? That's insanely easy. I mean, right now these trials are very simple. Like, as long as we just kill every enemy, you'll be fine. Got XP plus 14, and then runes. Times 100. Yeah, you got pretty good rewards just for doing that. That's a heal right there. Kekko Pikeman. That's a new one. By the way, for attacking with your normal time, you can just hold the A button. You don't have to mash it. I was mashing it at first, but I realized you can just hold it. And that works too. Oh look, the dried lumber has been complete. It just showed me. Nice. Treasure, of course. War Staff Memory. <clears throat> okay. And then I've done everything over there so we can move on. Have I been showing off the other one? I don't think I have, huh? That's what it is. But yeah, once you have all three, I mean, it becomes easier, you know, in combat. Here we go. Okay, this pathway is done too. I believe the floor is complete. Oh, there's this right here. We got Stone Knives Memory. Proceed, next floor. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing really well, so we're fine. Okay, let's see. That's done. Or nothing on that side. Let's go this way. Ooh, this is gonna be a battle room, huh? I'm gonna need to be a little careful here with how I do this. Oh wow. I gotta start upgrading my uh, all my skill. Actually, I should do it now. Cause I have what? Oh, one. Oh, I thought I had another level. Never mind. Okay. Well, if I power it up, post level up changes, skill level up. It's two. Cannot level up.
I mean, because the cooldown time is so short, though, for it, what you can just do is, like... I'll try to get this Poison B. I can't get him, though. <clears throat> but yeah, you can just kind of... It's only four seconds, so you can just keep running away and then just going back and use skills and then run away again. You don't really have to rely on your physical attack too much, unless you want to. Proceed again, another floor. Signal Fire. Signal Fire has let you return to specific locations on later expeditions. You can select them as a destination when you enter or when you next enter the abyss. Okay. Traded with countries beyond the sea. Our markets were full of goods and people. Travelers visited us from all over the world. Oh, how I wish you could have seen it. Words alone cannot describe the sight. Okay, we got some new enemies here. Those are wooloids. And they have a bit of a projectile attack. Did I just miss all my attacks on that thing? Damn it, I, I let him hit me. I can't believe I let that happen. Yeah, so now it's a bit of a step up here, as you can see. Look at all these enemies. Sometimes it's just a matter of landing a couple hits, retreating. And then just, you gotta be patient. Oh god. Bark, Bark Knuckles memory. Yeah, this thing's definitely got a lot, so... There we go. Not too bad, once you know... Once you know the combat, you know... What the hell is that? Oh, I see. I, I could have also done that. That's like a spellcaster kind of gecko. It's a sealed door on that side. Yeah, the reason why I keep missing is because they slowly back away. Yeah, see, they keep doing that. And your attack range kind of sucks as the rogue. It's really not that good. Another stone knife's memory? Be patient here. Yeah, sometimes brute aggression is not gonna work, you know? Oh, those stupid bees. Yeah, I will say, despite that X skill being the most damage per second, you have to be very careful because um, it leaves you also the most vulnerable. Because it's a series of attacks that does not interrupt enemies until the last hit. Shoot. I really didn't mean to do that, but okay. Pretty low health. I'm going to have to heal, I think. Oh, wait. Nice. Thank you. That was actually perfect. Alright, another floor done. We're up to 50 something minutes. Okay, yeah. Pretty close.
What's this one? Defeat 15 monsters before reaching the next floor. There we go. Get them all. Yo, what is that over there? These risks emit a strong malicious aura. Entry one will take you to a dangerous area that offers great risks and great and great rewards. Who should I do it? I guess I'll try it. No harm in trying it, right? Challenging monsters await in areas flooded with malice. Oh Jesus. Oh I see. No 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 no. Oh oh nice! I got the explosion off on the okay. I have to be very careful here with how I do this because Oh man, they're even trying to hit me from over there. Got him. Okay. Very patient here. I want to make sure I kill this guy before I, that way I have space to retreat if I need to. Also, I leveled up again, right? Oh, that one requires two. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade that one. Okay. I gotta be careful about that guy right there, yeah. Him. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I killed one of them. Just don't get hit by them because they are lethal with what they do. Okay, I'm gonna definitely remember that he's there. Is there an explosive? There's not. Oof, okay. Oof, 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 oof. not good, not good. Okay, I'm trying to... Oh boy. I'm gonna go over that way because if I don't, oh Jesus. No, 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 don't go on the spikes. Oh shit. I didn't mean to actually do that. I'll get him eventually, but it's a little tough here, you know? <laughs> no, no, no! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, got you. I defeated 15 monsters before the next floor. Okay, that's perfect. Got him. A stone ring memory. Okay, I got the little bunny guy too. That's good. I'm almost done here with these. Nice. Got him too. Shoot. He's like one hit away from death. They both are actually. Alright. That took a while I know. It was it was a pretty rough floor. Actually, is there still more? There probably is still more. Yeah, there is.
Those are done too, and now we're going this way. Damn it! Oh wait, wait we're fine, we're fine, okay. Man, how big is this floor? There's a lot of those guys over there. You have to be very careful about... Oh, shoot. Man, it's gonna take me forever actually to get through this freaking floor, huh? I'm also almost out of time. And by the way, I'm gonna keep these videos a little bit like under an hour or so, generally about 55-ish minutes or so. Don't go in there! Oh, I mean... I, I really thought that I warped the other way. But I guess not. Yeah, you have to make sure that your control stick is going in the proper direction when you're doing that, or else you will get screwed over. Yeah, I really hate those guys of freaking ram things or whatever they are because their projectile is so annoying. Like, it really stops you from trying to get in. Another memory. Perfect. Oh, and, and it's also really hard to hit them because they always back away. Like, they always do that. There is way too many of them coming after me. some hits there. <clears throat> so I think once I finish off this group right here I'm gonna have to end the video since I am unfortunately out of time. I did not mean to warp there. I got stuck! I got stuck! No 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 no! Shoot! I warped and I guess I was at the corner because when I wore my character got stuck on the edge of the platform, and that was terrible. Oh, Jesus. That was incredibly freaking risky. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. This bonus floor is actually taking forever to get through. But I should probably upgrade my skill again then. Well, I may want to focus... And upgrading these instead. Yeah, maybe I want to get another level up first before I do that, because uh, I feel like it might be helpful in that sense. Okay, I'm trying to find what when the best opportunity would be for that. Maybe that's the perfect time right there. Okay, he's one hit away. I can kill him easily. Alright. Alright, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.